Hello Libra and welcome to your August blessings video. So Libra, remember that these videos are generalized. Take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't as that resonate with someone else. And if you need me to have a look at your own personal reading, my website is in the description box below. Just get in touch with me and I'll be happy to work with you. So let me think what we're going to do. We are going to have a look at some tarot cards. Then we're going to look at some oracle cards also. You know by now that I like to use different divination systems. So we're even going to look at some runes as well. Remember to subscribe the, to the channel and hit the notification bell. And without further ado, let's get started. We don't need the oracle cards just yet. Let's start off with the tarot cards. So the first card here that I have for you is the full card. Then we have the knight of wands. And then we've got the nine of cups. Mm, mm, mm. All right, Libra. Well, there's good news. <laughs> I want to say that straight away so we can get that out of the way. So we see that here we have a major arcana card, the only major arcana card in this reading. So we have the, the full. The full talks about you are starting something from scratch. This is perhaps an idea that you have and you are at the edge just about to take that leap of faith. This card is talking about, hey, whatever you're doing, go for it, right? The Fool is about that excitement. It's about that innocence. It's about that new beginning. Perhaps you are seeking your freedom. Perhaps you're getting out of a relationship and you are going to go and start being single again so you just take you are just taking that leap of faith i see you really having high hopes so if you're starting a new business a new project maybe you're getting a promotion from work maybe you're starting a new job maybe you are moving i see you really having really high hopes of what the future holds for you so i really love to see that because next we are seeing you being the knight of wands the Knight of Wands is all about that passion, right? Just because you make a leap of faith, it doesn't mean that all your wishes are granted, right? You have to be passionate to make sure that whatever it is that you want to succeed, that you are being that Knight of Sword willing to fight for what you want. You are rushing in and you are passionate and you are really excited about the adventure, about this new beginning that's on the cards for you. This is really exciting to see because this card is all about action. You are not just praying and hoping and thinking that if you just sit there trying to manifest whatever it is that you want to come into your life, that is just gonna happen without you taking action. Well, that's not how the law of attraction works. The law of attraction is all about seeing where you want to go. Having that high hopes that everything is going to work out. Really, that's what the fool for me is. You've got high hopes that everything is going to work out. Your wishes are going to get granted. You are just excited. You are not even thinking about what could go wrong. You are putting in the action. You're putting in the thoughts in good energy because all you can see is things working out but we're not stopping there because now you're being that brave knight being passionate enough to bring in what it is you want to bring into the world and that is awesome because we are seeing and this is one of my favorite cards because we are seeing you now as the nine of cups i love this card so much because I'm going to try and get close so you can you can rejoice in the card as much as I do. Like I always say, I like my videos to be as educational for you as possible. I want you to be seeing these videos almost like as if you're here in the room with me. Me giving you a personal reading that you are looking at the cards. You are seeing maybe something that I've missed. And you're like, oh yes, that implies to my life. Because I have to be as broad as possible so I can cover as many people that watch these videos and make it relevant for them. 
So now you're seeing this card and like, oh yeah, wow, yeah. The glasses mean something to me, right? So I want you to get as involved as possible. So yes, let's get back to the Nine of Cups. That's what we're here talking about, right? So the Nine of Cups sees you really sitting there. Oh, basking in the glory of your success. Yes, yes and yes, Libra. I am so excited to see this because you are one of perhaps the only reading so far who has got 100% positive cards. You're sitting there. Oh, the world is at your feet. You are feeling good. You have succeeded. Life feels good. And you are taking that moment to really take it all in because this wasn't just granted to you. This is not a lottery win type of card, right? You worked for this. You put in the time and the effort and finally the time, the effort that you put in is finally paying off because we're seeing this guy in the, in the uh, picture. There's so many books. There's more books on the table. There is, let me see what it was there. I'm trying to show you this card yes a lot of books right so there's a lot of books on this card so this really indicates that whatever this success is in is coming in for you you've put in the time you've put in the effort you've put in the blood the sweat the tears even <laughs> right because let's be honest the things or the victories that are the most sweetest in life are the ones that you had to fight for, cry for. They're not the ones that just happened overnight. Yes, that's great, but that climb, those nights when you didn't know whether you're going to make it or not, and suddenly you do, it just makes it that much sweeter, right? It's like climbing a mountain, going hiking. And halfway through that hike, you're like, oh my God, what was I thinking, right? But you know that if you carry on, the view is going to be spectacular. It's going to be just worth every step of that climb. And so you carry on going. So this card here is saying that all that stress, all that worry, all those years maybe that you didn't think you were going to make it. Finally, you're here making it because you deserve all this glory, all this, this win, the celebration even. Because you went out and you fought for this. This wasn't handed for you on to you on a plate. This was... There was fire, volcanoes, there was, there was a lot. But you didn't give up. You really believed in your, in your dream, in your hopes, in your prayers. You believed. But you just didn't believe. You worked for it too. Because like they say in the Bible, faith without action is dead. So, you had faith but you equally had action. And so if you're at this stage at the moment where you're fighting and fighting and you don't know if you're gonna make it, keep going because the future is bright. Whatever you're fighting for, whatever you're working for, keep going, you're almost there. Now let's look, on, let's look at our um, Oracle cards. My battery is, oh actually, my camera is telling me that it's getting hot because it is so hot right now. Oh my God. So I'm going to try and keep going as much as I can before the camera shuts down. So this card is coming in to say that the key to prayer is to forget what I think I need. Because why? The divine God always knows what you need. So when you're praying, pray for the best outcome and then God the divine the creator knows exactly what you need why am I saying that because I just noticed that we have 
those two spheres there, right? That endless asking, 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 but never taking action. But the divine is saying, hey, I make the sunshine, don't I? I created more than you could ever need. So, when you're going on your journey, when you're starting this journey, know that I know what you need. What do you want? Maybe now, ask for what you want. Ask for the, for the extra, like they say. Reach the mountains, and you can touch the stars, but you want to even go higher than that because you are trying to touch the sun itself. Mm. I love your ambition. I love your drive. I love your the way you manifest because you don't think small. You think really, really big. So the next card here is talking about Mars. Mars is that planet about fire. Is that warrior planet. Is that is that fight, right? When you're looking at someone's chart and you want to see whether they're going to be successful or not, one of the planets you look at is Mars. Because if they don't have drive, fire, if they don't have staying power, then it doesn't matter how talented they are. Because they will never put the fight, the determination that is needed to, to be successful, to win. But I love to see Mars here because we are seeing that you have the determination. You have the fire because we have fire there. This is perfect that Mars is here because Mars is fire. You have the fire. You have the determination to make sure that you're going to win at this quest and this adventure that you're on at the moment. So this Mars is number 17. So if we add 7 plus 1 is 8. 8 is all about that infinity sign it's about the abundance the endless gifts whatever it is that you're working for is going to be giving it to you in infinity you're going to be showered with so much right so keep going the last card that we have for you here is the gift you've had an amazing reading so far. I wish I was your sign. I wish I was a Libra. <laughs> so the gift, Gebo, is the gift. The gift, well, I mean, I'm sure you figured it by now. Whatever you're working on, keep going because there are many, many, many gifts for you, ready to be showered on you. But your blessings and your gifts are coming in through your hard work. They're just not gonna happen. This is not a lottery win. This is hard work, perseverance, showing that you really want this and going for it. And this is where your gifts, your abundance, your blessings are gonna be coming for you here in the month of August and onwards. I love this reading, good luck to you. Make sure you comment below and wish me some of these blessings too. I could do with that. So I'm going to love you and leave you. If you need me to have a look at your own personal reading, my website is in the description box below. Just comment and subscribe to this channel and hit the like button. That helps me out a lot. And like I said, let me know what it is that you're working for. On that note, I'm going to love you and leave you. It's a goodbye from me. Bye.